you my dear students today i will be taking up past tense and future tense so let's get started past tense we are taking sentences of past tense yes. so tenses active forms passive voice the past tense they founded this school in 2001 so here the structure of the sentence is subject plus verb to plus object so they is the subject founded is the second form of verb found and school is the object now we are going to see the conversion this school was founded by them in 2001 so here this subject pronoun has become the object pronoun them in passive voice i have already done i have already made one video on change of pronouns right so do watch that video as well so here this new particular word has come now you must be wondering why uh, i have used uh, was before past participle form of verb i have used was here because i have used was here because we are doing sentences of simple past tense right and was was is the past tense of to be for or you can say that was is an example of helping verb and this helping verb is used only in sentences of past tense okay now sentence structure subject plus was or were plus verb 3 plus by plus object so here understand one thing if your subject is singular you will use was and if your subject is plural you will use were now past continuous she was checking art papers and structure subject plus was and also were i just forgot to write was sorry were here so please do write were also so was or were plus verb plus ing form plus sorry i'll i'll read it again subject plus was oblique verb plus ing form of verb plus object so this is the sentence structure of past continuous tense now we will focus on its conversion our papers were being checked by her i have already explained if you are converting sentences of present continuous or past continuous you have to use you have to write being after the helping verb right so you will write being immediately after the helping verb in all the sentences of passive now past perfect tense mr mr rao had taken this project in 2011 so sentence structure subject plus had plus verb three plus object now it's conversion this project project had been taken by mr rao in 2011 so sentence structure now she plus had plus been plus verb three plus by plus object again you have to keep it keep this point in mind that when you are converting a sentence of past perfect again you have to use been been immediately after the helping verb and you have to use been even when you are converting a sentence of present perfect you have to use been even when you are converting a sentence of future perfect i hope i'm clear now i'll move on to my next slide now we'll see future tense tenses active voice passive voice simple future i will write articles on different topics sentence structure subject plus will oblique shall plus verb one plus object now we'll see the conversion articles on different topics will be written by me the sentence structure subject plus will object shall plus be plus verb three plus by plus object simple future is very simple you only have to add be here before the past participle of the being verb right otherwise there is no change as such 
apart from those changes related to rules. Now future perfect tense. You will have taken the money, sentence structure, subject plus, will, public, shall plus, have plus, verb 3 plus object, is conversion. Money will have been taken by you. Sentence structure, subject plus, will, public, shall plus, have plus, been plus, verb 3 plus, by plus, object. Since this is perfect tense, you will write been after have okay as per the rules now before i wrap up i would like to tell you one more thing and that is whether your subject is singular or plural right whether your subject is singular or plural you will never change have you will never change have it will always be have you will not write has when you are making sentences of when you are making sentences of future perfect tense right in all the sentences of future uh, perfect tense you will always use have after will or shall okay i hope it is clear so before i go i would like to review four golden rules of passive voice to all of you first rule in passive voice sentences of simple present tense in passive voice sentences of simple present tense you will only use present helping verbs is am and are right and these helping verbs are also called present form of to be verbs or present tense of to be verbs rule in passive sentences of simple past you will only use was and were as helping verbs fine now third rule is for rule number three in passive sentences of present continuous tense and past continuous tense you will use only being after the helping verbs you will only use being and being is the to be verb after the helping verb right now rule number four in passive voice sentences of present perfect tense past perfect tense and future perfect tense you will only use being to be verb after the help and with this i'm going to end my session and i hope you have understood the formation